turn me up. RP mommy, nigga, RP grandma, they know what I do it for. Let's get it. Nigga, nigga, I was dreaming luxury. Stuck in position, just trying to what's up youtube thank you for joining out to me see me please hit the like the comment and leave me a message down below let me know how your day is doing god will never give you nothing that you can't handle please stay safe out here in the world hi everybody yeah i am happy today i see i'm extra happy today okay um i had to take my husband to the doctor today um i'm praying that this piece come back so i can actually set up my computer table like i want and start um uh, editing this um this bar class that I'm trying to do, I'm trying to, I'm opening up another channel for bar class for the, um, depression, life, and what we can do about it, and we all will talk about it, and on um, my 7th, is coming up soon, at the 1st of February, that's when I will be doing that, I'm going to do a whole segment on depression, what we can do for depression, how we can know if we are depressed and stuff, you know, so starting from February, I will start that because it's Black History Month. Because all Black people need to understand, we all we we depressed, but we're depressed in our own way. You understand? We not be might not be depressed that we have to be on medicine. We not might be depressed that we have to be on medicine. We could be depressed that we are being admitted into the hospital, or we might be depressed that you might try to do something to yourself. But I'm just gonna let you know from now on that we love you and we will always love you. You understand? Just leave me a message down below and I will talk to you. If you need somebody to holler at, come holler. Cause I'm gonna call I'm gonna talk to you. I have no reason not to talk to you. So, okay, yeah. Like I said, yeah, I gotta take my husband to the doctor today. Um is um is what is this the one? This appointment is for cardiology. Yeah. Um, I've been canceling his cardiology for the last three months because I've been running around doing a lot of stuff. The last time he went, he went by himself and then the doctor called me and wanted to talk to me. So I have to really make it in there today because, you know, I love my husband, but he don't really tell the doctor everything. I like, literally, he don't. He, he sits back and he be like, uh-huh. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. No, no. This don't hurt. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm doing good. But it does, he be lying sometimes. So, you know, because he been asking me for muscle relaxers. I asked him, I said, you in pain? He said, no, I'm not in pain. I said, I think you are in pain because you're asking me for muscle relaxers. So I think it's time for you to make an appointment to pain management so you can get some shots. You understand? So I'm trying to be like on him to be more healthy this year. We always healthy here because... Most of the time, we eating salads and stuff. Sometimes we go to bed without a meal, wake up, eat a salad or something like that. Um, this year, it's going to be more healthy. I am going to get in the gym in the fall. And I'm only going to be in the gym to the fall because the summer, I got to stay in the house. Everybody, y'all should know me by now. I'm allergic to trees. I'm allergic to grass. <laughs> I'm allergic to the pollen out there and everything, you know. So, yeah. That's what's going on. So I'm going to go to the gym. I'm actually going to... I don't need to go to the gym. I need to just actually bring my shit out the fucking closet. And bring the weights out the um out the closet. Then I got the wheel scaler that I sit on and do my legs and stuff. I got that in the bedroom. I have a lot of stuff over here to do exercise. But it's just... I wish I had a two-bedroom because then I could actually set it up in a room and be comfortable instead of sitting in my living room and then it's in my way, then I put it away. Then it's just too much with that right now. So that's another reason why it's not out again. So um, with that, I had a nice therapy yesterday. Me and my therapist talk and she was like, oh, girl, you look shining. What's going on with you? You must be positive over there. So, yeah, I have been positive this week, last week, because I edit some videos. I threw them up on YouTube. Um, I'm going to edit this one tonight, and I'm going to throw this up tomorrow for y'all. Um, yeah, but just come with me to the doctor, because y'all know me already. Y'all know I'll be in there cussing them fucking doctors out. <laughs> them doctors don't like me. And I have to go sit and speak to his primary doctor, because I swear to God, I'm going to take my two fingers, and I'm going to choke the hell out of that fucking man. But you know what? I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to speak nice to him. And if that little bitch in the fucking front say something to me today, I'm telling you, I'm going to drag her from behind that fucking counter. And she's going to be looking for another fucking job today because I'm not in a fucking mood. Everybody in that building know I sign him. I'm the one that do every fucking thing. When I talk, I'm the one talking. My husband just sit there like, hmm. 
That's it. But it's this one doctor and this one nurse that get on my fucking nerves. And that's his primary doctor. And that's another reason why I be trying to stay the fuck away from his primary doctor. But he gonna, but you know what? The last time he went to the primary doctor and I wasn't there, you know the doctor gonna ask him, oh, so where, where your bird at? He said, what are you talking about? He said, your wife. Because every time I ask you a question, she pops up her mouth. I say, he said, yo, you know what? Yo, and my wife is always at it. Um, she had to go take care of something. But she'd be back for the next visit. So I asked, I got words for that little motherfucker when I see him. But I'm going to be quiet about it today. I'm going in with a peace of mind. I'm going in with respectful. God will only give me what come out of my mouth. So respect this day. That's all I'm asking for. But if they piss me the fuck off, I'm telling you, I'm going to ragtag the motherfuckers around that fucking clinic. Yeah, I am. That's how I get when I go to this fucking clinic with him. And I be trying to egg it out, just trying to let him go by himself and let him do his stuff. But it's to the point that, okay, you're not sending the medicine to the pharmacy. You understand? You tell him he needs this done, but then you don't send the fucking paper so I can go and get it done. How am I supposed to find out where to go? So, you know, <clears throat> yeah, that's another thing. And I got to call the back of my Medicaid card. That's what my that's what my home attendant needs to be doing right now. Call in the back of my Medicaid card and see if I can get one of them fucking cards. I can go into CVS or one of them stores and pick up stuff with the, the $100 or $200 they give on the card to pick up a man and stuff. That's what I need to do today, too. And I'm waiting for my husband to book all his appointments first. Because if I have his appointments on the schedule, then I can book my appointments and it won't collide with his appointments. You understand? And there's a couple of appointments that he's asked me to go to because he can't cancel me because I was sick or I wasn't feeling good or I was in the hospital. He canceled his appointments. Knowing that damn well, I told him not to cancel his appointment, but he still did. So now I have to be a woman about it. Book his appointments first. Put his, put his appointments on the, on the schedule and then book mine so we don't collab, right? Yeah, that's what I have to say so far. So right now, I'm actually going to eat the sandwich that my home attendant went and got like an hour ago. But I was doing my makeup and I was trying to get prepared, halfway prepared, because I don't want to be running around here looking for shit when it's time to walk out the door. I didn't want to have my, have my makeup on because I'm not, y'all know I don't go nowhere without looking a little sexy, you know? Because <laughs> bitches and they be jealous, they be like, damn. Even the man be like, damn, he got that on his shoulder? <laughs> Yeah, watch this shit. And they ain't seen my ring yet. They ain't seen the rings yet. So when they go in, they're going to be like, ooh. I'm like, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. He did what? I'm going to be all like that. Bitch, what? Fuck out of here. That man ain't going nowhere. Where he going? My husband loves me. I'm spoiled. I'm a spoiled little brat. Whatever thing I want, daddy, I'm hungry. What you want? Because I'm a picky fucking eater. I am a picky fucking eater. If I want this, then I want this now. That's what I'm going to eat. Don't ask me to get something else and then we get it. And then I, I will sit there and I will watch that shit all day long and won't eat that shit. That's how picky I am. But tonight, I don't know. I was thinking about cooking, but I'm tired of them fucking fresh chickens. And that's the only thing that I have in my fridge right now is fresh chicken. And I got a rabbit, but I don't want rabbit tonight. I don't know. I might just make him do me a um Instacart delivery, and um I'm really having a taste for some oxtails, and I don't buy oxtail. I used to buy oxtails on Instacart. I mean on um DoorDash, but this place I used to order the oxtails. They got cheap. They only send you like four pieces of oxtail. It used to be like a whole lot of oxtails with a little bit of rice and cabbage and shit. It used to taste good, but now whoever they fight and got another chef, it doesn't taste right. It doesn't look right. So I literally have to go now, and I have to go and cook the oxtails tonight. But I'm going to talk about that with him today on the on the way to the doctor. I'm um, blah blah. You want some oxtails? Want me to cook you some oxtails, peas and rice tonight? <laughs> hey, get that Instacart popping. And plus, I don't understand how the fuck is I'm running out of juice so fast. Because I just ordered juice on Sunday. And I'm literally almost out of juice already. Oh no! And I, I'm drinking a lot of water. I'm not drinking a lot of juice. I'm constantly drinking a lot of fucking water. So I don't know. And my husband is a water fucking thing. I had to take him off that soda. I banned him from soda. Last week. 
Because this motherfucker, I just bought two sodas the other day and I put them in the fridge. I put it in the kitchen. And before the next day over, he took my, oh, you going to buy more sodas? No, nigga, you coming to fuck off for sodas. You're going back on your juice. And that's the fucking thing you're going to be drinking from now on. You're not drinking no more sodas. You got my, you got Marby Mix in the cabinet. You got, um, what the other fucking, what's the sudden drink that he got the mix in it? Sorrow. He got sorrow he can make. He got Marby he can make. He got, um, no, he finished the rest of the one for carrot. But get your ass in the kitchen and start making your juices. Yeah. And I've been lazy lately. I haven't been cooking. I've literally been eating out. A lot. And that's another thing that I have to stop doing is eating up. But it is that, I don't know. I really, 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 really want to go deep food shopping this week. But then when I was looking online today, right, because I need to get the iron number and every fucking thing else. And everything literally came up to about 400 and some fucking change. I wanted to give you this. So it's like, I don't know. It's so much. So, 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 so much. I just so much. It's just so much that need to be done. Because I was looking at it last night and I'm still, I need it to do my business. But then it's like, you know, I'm on a fixed income. So I'm really trying to figure out what is really, really needed. And. The LSC and the other thing and every fucking thing else and stuff like, it was really like 400, hold on, let me go to it, $449 is what it is. It's come with the LSC, it comes with, let me see. LLC formation expedited processing annual compliance operating agreement one year free domain eight free logos website builder digital business card social media post maker business cards tool. Oh no! And then I still gotta add the hundred one ninety nine towards the banking, the um banking information. Then I have to get a. E I E N number and that's ninety dollars. So I'm literally seeing about fucking five, maybe six hundred dollars just to get this done. But I really need to get this done. And I've been putting this off for almost like a year, two years now. Cause I kept saying, Okay, this need to come in front, this need to come in front, this need to come in front. And it's time for me to actually do what I need to do for me and I really Everybody, I'm on my way to the doctor. I did some curls over there. Yeah, I'm trying to just let me hang. That shit happened to me too. <laughs> Man, static in your body and touch it. Are you going to do that? Always being nice. That's all back up. Yeah. I can see some like the other little bit of cool. Cool. I'm ready outside waiting on the van.
Do you want me to put it back until we get back? Your shipment and another nut. And then there's from Amazon. From where? For um, accessory. No. That's why I opened up this look. Nothing there yet. It might be this week or maybe the end of next week. This is no problem. But did he say he was approved? Oh? He said he was approved? No. I just called him the trip. I just called him the trip. No, if you would have asked him, he would have told you. Oh. If you would have asked him, he would have told you. Um, what, yeah. You know Dr. Cohen lose. He look. He work. He works slow at at the lunch break in the morning. And oh. Dr. Cohen in the morning he be moving mad fast, but at the lunch it's like he take his time. Okay, I'm here. We're here. Not you. We're here. We're waiting for the doctor. The ride was late getting to the house, but it got us here fast. It took us a different way. I never knew that way, but it was fast, though. Um, just waiting on the doctor. They said the doctor's moving fast today, so that's good. I'm actually burning up in this sweater. I should have knew they was going to have the heat on. I should have put on a tank top, but I didn't. So, yeah. Just waiting to see the doctor for me, see what's going on. So, just stay along with me, just wait to see. Okay, everything was fine. His blood pressure was good, his weight was good. Um, the doctor said that um, he's healthy, there's nothing wrong. They, um, they gave us more medicine for the next five months. So, he had to go to so he don't have to go back for five months. So I'm happy about that. Um, the EKG was good. Everything was perfect, you know. We was in and out within 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes, we were in and out. So I'm happy about that. So that was the rest of the day. So thank you for watching. Um, please come back, subscribe to my channel. Um, I love y'all, keep your head up. You know God will never give you nothing that you can't handle. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please come back for the next one.